I'm heading a dedicated clinic for, for the treatment of uh, rare histiocytic neoplasms. And one of these histiocytic, histiocytic neoplasms is actually Langerhans cell histiocytosis, which is a neoplasm of dendritic cells. And uh, what we see here is a disease in which the diseased dendritic cells, the mutated dendritic cells, have the capacity to infiltrate different systems in the human body and form tumors. So typically this is a very heterogeneous disease which can range from unifocal, indolent disease all the way to a multi-systemic, multifocal form. And um, so, so typically this is, this, this, this is a disease which likes to form tumors mainly in the bone, in the bones, in the, ax in the axial skeleton. Uh, these, these lesions are lytic, which means that they are dissolving the bone structure, generating pain and compromising the integrity of, of these bones, like, like the vertebra or, or the skull. Uh, it can also involve the lungs, it can also involve the mucosal surfaces and other various organs. Now, up until 2013, we used to treat these neoplasms with uh, chemotherapy. We still do, by the way, today, with cytarabin. But in the past 10 years, our understanding of the biology grew sig significantly better than before. And today we know that these neoplasms are typically a, a driven by a single oncogene, most likely an oncogene which, is a, a, which belongs to the MAP kinase pathway, BRAF or MEC1. And, and they are also highly stable tumors from a genomic perspective. So once you are able to detect the driver mutation and once you are able to tailor treatment properly, uh, uh, what you get is a very fulminant response as the, as the disease is highly dependent on the oncogene. Now, moreover, this disease does not diverge into a multi-clonal state in the majority of cases. Thus, the, the responses are, are almost are complete or near complete and, and long-standing. Uh, um, so it's an exciting development in precision medicine and hematology in rare tumors overall.